we're Tim and Mindy, and welcome to our channel as we come along with another Trader Joe's haul. We're happy to be back with you this week, and we have some nice highlights in store. We've got uh, some nice items we're going to talk about, including a wine we discussed last week as dinner for a friend. It's a very delicious dinner, and yet a nice way to thank someone or just show your love for them. Also, uh, we are going to highlight a recipe as we normally do, so stay tuned for that. And we have some returning as well as new summer items uh, that we're going to talk about. And we can't forget our desserts. Some nice uh, summer desserts are back and uh, we're excited about them. So we'll talk about them and to get us started. Let's get um, started with a dinner for our friends. Let's do it. They've done some favors for us. We had some work done in our house and they did our electrical. And then they went next door to family and helped them with some work also. We wanted to thank them for that. We started with our favorite wine, which is the Count. We had that one last week. Uh, we also gave it to another friend and he says it is... Yeah, he uh, commented that he really, really liked it. Uh, he, it's got some fruity notes with a slight salt taste at the end, but very smooth uh, in the way it lingers. So uh, he was impressed. It drinks uh, like a 30 to $40 bottle of wine. Most have uh, commented on that, we agree. Um, it sells uh, very reasonable at Trader Joe's for under $10. Under 10 To go with that, we have included, and I cooked it up for them so they only have to reheat it, is our family style meat lasagna. That one we've talked about before. It takes about an hour to cook, but if you cook it beforehand, then you only have to warm it up and the flour flavors tend mm -hmm. to meld. We have also a my favorite. <laughs> Caesar style salad. This is a nice kit. Kit. It's got the romaine. It's got the croutons, the Parmesan cheese. It makes a nice salad. So we gave them our meat lasagna along with the salad and can't forget the baguette. And Tim's favorite this. baguette. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a hidden, but it's so good. The organic French baguette. I think we have my mom and my aunt hooked on these. Uh, this is always in their request, but you put this in the oven a little bit, warm it up, uh, have a little butter is great. Um, if you want garlic bread, a little fresh uh, chopped garlic uh, with that butter, or you can go with sandwich material. This goes so many different directions. So this is going along with that lasagna tonight for Italian. When, um, during the whole COVID thing, we are shopping for Tim's mom and aunt. When they hear we're going to Trader Joe's, they always text us over with what they want. And that baguette is always one of the items. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Count a on it. Dinner wouldn't com be complete without dessert. And what is your favorite dessert? Well, actually, uh, the key lime, frozen key lime pie. This is back for the summer right now. And it is so good. And other Outside of the Florida area or the Keys themselves, this is one of the best tasting key lime pies I've had. And then we're going to feature something. And we're gonna put this on top of, or give this to them to put on top, is the coconut cream. This is so yummy. You can put it on just chopped up strawberries. One mm -hmm. of the people following our YouTube suggested that. I've tried it, it is delicious. This is zero points for two tablespoons on Weight Watchers or WW, so it really is a good find. Yes, and if you're uh, gluten-free, lactose-free, vegan, it all qualifies. I'm um, not those things, and I love this uh, very much. So we thought, uh, can you imagine the graham cracker crust, crust with that great taste of key lime and then coconut uh, enhancing that? So I think they're in for a treat tonight. Along with that, we got them a little thank you card. I don't know if you've noticed the cards at Trader Joe's. They're only 99 cents. It's amazing. What's cool is if you actually flip the card over, you don't even have to take it out of the sleeve, but just flip it over. It tells you what the message is, but it also tells you who the author or the illustrator is of the card. You can look them up online and find out some of their other illustrations. This one is a Russian lady and some of her illustrations are really cute. This one I really like because it's a bear and a mouse with a little yellow sports car, which Tim, if he said he ever had a sports car, it would be yellow. It will probably never happen, but uh, that's the Cool, uh, color, cool color reminds me of my childhood too. And then we're going to top it off with the flowers. I have already done some doorbell ditch with flowers. Mm -hmm. We have friends that are confined and can't get out because of immune systems. We are leaving a bouquet of these little flowers. They're so inexpensive. They're 3 dollars 
and just to drop them off at the doorstep and then text on the way out that you've left something on the door makes their day happy and so we're including that that is the complete meal that we're going to be dropping off today to say thank you and i always say uh, these are some of the best kept secrets at trader joe's uh, uh flowers and cards they're so reasonable 99 cent for any card in there flowers are so reasonable so i remember one time i was buying a card somewhere i'm like what am i doing i can go to trader joe's instead of paying six dollars i can pay 99 cents and still have a nice card so we're going to move from dinner now to fruits and vegetables uh, at Trader Joe's. Uh, tell us about a couple of those. They have the new champagne grapes that yes. came in. These are so good, so juicy. They're only, at least at my Trader Joe's that I shop at, they're $1.99 for the whole package. I enjoy having them in my um, lunch when I pack them for work. The other thing that we have had is the Oh, the Sunkissed mm, cantaloupe. That is so good. I got the Sunkissed one. It is super, 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 super sweet. I definitely drizzled the balsamic vinegar that I mentioned in the last haul on that one. So you get the tang of the balsamic and then the sweetness of that cantaloupe. It's really good. Oh, and then I, of course, I love the Roma tomatoes uh, that come, uh, that we get at Trader Joe's. We love using them so many different ways. They're very, um, uh, nice like an Italian homemade pizza sauce with the herbs. There is and that's what I was thinking is there's a new recipe on eating well for a zucchini crust pizza. Mm -hmm. They have a different sauce recipe. We like the fresh sauce with fresh garlic. So we have the garlic with the tomato. I'm going to try that recipe out. It should be really low in the points of WW. Yeah, they're very reasonable too, but always fresh. And, and then, then I got the garlic's yeah. hiding in there somewhere, garlic but I got the garlic sauce. fresh also. Yeah, yes. We like to keep it fresh, get one a clove a week. And yes, we have gone through one clove of garlic a week. Easy. Oh yeah. Garlic is so good. So we I love the fact that they sell it by the clove as well. And then we have that purple onion, uh, red onion hiding up there. We've been doing meat sliders with the Trader Joe's buns and um, ground beef from mm -hmm. there. The Red onion just adds a little oh, yeah. yum to it. Also, we've been trying to do a egg roll in a bowl. We we like the Oreo one that I got off of like 40 aprons, which was a keto recipe. I'm trying to adjust one for more Mexican flavors, but the red onion always tastes really good in anything. Yeah, so very, very uh, inexpensive as well. All the produce is non-GMO, whether it's fruit or vegetables. We enjoy that about it as well. Of course, we have our bananas. Oh, I can't forget those. Those are staple. We'll be featuring often. 19 cents a piece. You can't go wrong. I like buying them in different stages. Some a little greener. Some more ripe for the Yonan idea. Uh, basically zero points on the blue plan of WW. And then some right in between for eating as you go. Lunches. Before we get into more of the vegetables, because those are in the recipe, do we want to hit a couple of the new things? Yeah, that's what I was uh, actually eyeing too, is a couple of these in the middle. That one's, one's a return, return, and it's a returning friend, the pimento cheese dip. It, it's excellent also if you want to add it in for nachos, uh, in getting that uh, with maybe a little meat in there or um, whatever you like in nachos, but that makes a nice base for it as well. That's just well as dipping things in it. It was funny when we were in Tulsa, a lot of our friends really enjoyed the pimento cheese. They said Trader Joe's was one of the few places they could find it. It's only there in the summertime. I'm excited to see that it's here so we can try mm -hmm. it with our nachos again. And it definitely is a summertime memory. And how can you argue with extra sharp? cheddar cheese and then these roasted pimento peppers. I mean, my goodness, that those two things go together. And then the this other one has oh, yeah. been, whoa. Oh, almost dumping here. This yeah. other one's been around for a couple of weeks. The cauliflower jalapeno, it's creamy. It, I tried it cold and someone told me it tastes like cold Alfredo sauce, which it, it does. I've seen recipes where it should be heated up. So I'm gonna try the heated up maybe and some zucchini noodles or something like that maybe it will be better it looked like it was better if it was warm definitely not a cold dip mm -hmm. now i think we see a, the ingredients for the recipe sitting there oh wait a minute there's one oh, hiding in else? here there's a ah. frozen i forgot about 
On WW, these turkey dogs really were not that bad. Every once in a while, I just want a good corn dog for like a lunch when I'm running around the house or something. These I microwave for half a minute and then I put them into my air fryer for two to three minutes at 400 degrees. They come out hot and that cornbread coating on them is extra crunchy because being in the air fryer and they just hit the spot. So that's a, that's a treat once in a while is my corn dogs. Yeah, can be a good treat for sure. Now I'm seeing um, the recipe. Ingredients. Now we're up to the yeah. recipe. So let's talk about some. There's of this. been bits and pieces of this on the internet. These are the ingredients I have put together for it. The miso soup. This is a nice flavor soup. It's a real basic one, so I put that in the pan. I add the chicken cilantro, mini wontons. I can't remember the points. I'll put them on down below. But I remember they were very reasonable in the points. And then a little um, sugar snap peas. Trader Joe's has organic and non-organic. I got the non-organic. They were just a little cheaper. And then the green onions I'm going to add in. Oh, and you have it over there, the bok choy. Ah, just the bok choy in the miso soup. So that is going to be the wonton soup that I'm going to try to make up. may have to add a little soy sauce. We'll see how flavorful the miso is with all these ingredients being put in it. And then, uh, oh, and the mushrooms. Like, yeah, I got some mushrooms. Usually the shiitake mushrooms you use, the cremini are much less expensive and they still have that little bite the shishitake definitely have a, a flavor into their own i love but these are the cremini and they will give me my satisfaction i need for my mushrooms and my soup the cabbage there that's just for the egg roll in the oh, bowl that we're yeah. experimenting with hopefully by next week we'll have a recipe for either an italian egg roll or a mexican egg roll that we will be sharing and then of course we have the chicken a staple in a that lot chicken of we have to get that chicken we get every week. I boil it up, put it in the freezer, and then pull it out as we need it for the week. But that's that's the chicken most basic yeah. food prep that I do is just boil that up on a Sunday, and then it's ready to go for the week, whether I want to make chicken enchiladas or salads or chicken tacos. Chicken tacos, Taco yeah. Tuesday, we've made that on. Absolute. And then I think we hit the green onions too, but I love these just chopped up and either on baked potatoes or on some of that oriental egg roll in the bowl. When I do the Something. oriental flavor one, that definitely adds the zing that you need. That is awesome. And well, I'm going to try that in the soup also. That'll okay. be good I'm sorry, soup. go ahead. <laughs> oh, that'll be good in the soup, no worries. Um, we've got also uh, some nice summer desserts, one returning. It's not WW friendly. So. Oh, no, not. I'm not putting <laughs> my points in that. Yeah, but it, they are so good. So if you have that one day where you're just going to have a treat and get back to it once in a while, it's a once in a while thing. Neapolitan JoJo's. So one of my favorite JoJo's there. The strawberry cream between the vanilla cookie and the chocolate cookie. That's what really cements it. Is it is really good. Yeah. You will love get a good glass of milk in these, and it's a very dangerous combination. So uh, awesome. Yeah, I love them. The now more WW friendly is this chocolate peanut butter light ice cream. I don't know if uh, if you're like me, I love peanut butter. And of course, who doesn't like chocolate? So the combo is wonderful. And for a whole pint of this. Uh, Point wise, it was very similar to Halo. Bad. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. Um, four points per serving. A serving, two thirds of a cup, four points. For the whole pint, it would be about 13 points. So it's like one point over what a halo would be. So very doable, but also has a nice uh, taste to it as well. 23 grams of protein in it. So, um, but it's very nice for that once a week on Weight Watchers. We've got those extra weekly points. And it's summertime, you want Always so hot here. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, the, the yin and the yang, uh, the non-friendly, the friendly on Weight Watchers. Well, I think that almost does it. That does. That's so, all falling around us. What a haul here. And so remember the dinner for a friend? Some ni nice ideas uh, at TJ's. Uh, the lasagna was just one of them we came up with. There's so many other combos you could do. And then, of course, this wine is still there. The Count uh, 2017, it, uh, under $10, it really has a complex layering of, for a nice red wine. The, also, we highlighted some of the fruits and vegetables, as well as the recipe ingredients that we're going to see in a little bit. And then, 
our desserts at the very end. We always save the good desserts for last. So we've had some nice friends there. And as far as that, I think we have it. But thank you. Thank you for joining us. And remember to stay tuned for that recipe as well. And don't forget to subscribe, leave comments. They really help us grow. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we are onto the recipe with the soup. I take the miso ginger broth. And this makes it really hard and pour that into the pan with the burner on. Get all the soup out. I'll add the vegetables. This was about one bok choy, a couple of the peas, a few of the mushrooms. Tim doesn't like mushrooms, so I put in less. He'll just have to push them off to the side and pass them on to me. Give that a quick stir. And then dump in the chicken cilantro mini wontons. It is seven wontons is two points. And then as soon as this is all warmed up and the wontons are heated through, we are ready to eat. And then I will be putting on the green onions as a topper, the top of the green onions. So I will be right back. So this is the soup all cooked up. Just serve it up and be aware of your wonton count so it is seven wontons is two points that is a two point lunch this should serve three or four people this is the seven point bowl we're ready to go all you need to do is put on a few of the green onions add a little fresh and you're ready to have your dinner enjoy